I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. I was never going to be a men's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. Well, it, it's, it seems like, you know, every bodybuilder, when they're retired, they have to go through a process of just cleansing and really just taking care of them. Because the bodybuilding is a, is a very extreme sport, you know what I mean? It's a great sport, it's fun, but it's, it's you know what I mean? It's extreme. So you have to go through a period of time where you just recover from it, you know? Of course, it's just not not your body and then uh, mental recover. But um, this bodybuilding and, and fitness, if you do this, you already know a lot about your body, about health, uh, about supplements, uh, about anything. And um, if you do this professionally or you know what to do or you, you know what you're doing, uh, like that, <laughs> then... Of course, um, there's a there's a time that you have to go through this. It's it's uh, it's hard, but um, over the years you take a lot of supplements, I would say, <laughs> and then you just cannot go out of it and just not doing anything because that's gonna cause a lot of problems, head, heart issues, everything. So, and that's why that's why. Um, I went to a doctor just to do this. I, I checked everything already, like last year, everything is healthy. Only thing I didn't check yet is my heart, uh, but I feel great. So, um, but to, in, in order to feel great, um, you know, to, to be able to go through your day and everything, you need to watch your testosterone. And that's what most of the people don't understand. Even the people who don't train or, you know, with older a little bit, you know? It's very important, so, it's very important of course. Yes, yes, very important. It's uh, for for a man health, or for men's health. It's the most important thing, you know. If if it's balanced and and a great level, you feel great. You you're not getting all these uh, crazy stuff like uh, allergies and all this stuff which which comes with with you know with the age. You know, I, I developed so many allergies right now. I'm kind of in the morning. I need an hour to to you know be alright because you know the nose and everything, the eyes. So. Yeah, um, very, very important. Um, I would always, um, you know, seek for professional help who understands what, you know, what was really important in order to, you know, get back on normal levels and all this stuff. You know, it's very, very important. And uh, that's why I decided to go to the doctor because I could do it by myself, but I have no control, you know. I mean, so my dad... With, 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 with the doctor because he can tell you okay everything is fine or not and go against it or you know help you with with uh, whatever you need you know so that was the plan from the beginning I started my uh, career because I thought you know if you stop doing this you need to get back to normal somehow you know so well yeah. you know I talked to a lot of bodybuilders that retired and they say when they when they were competing they never went to a doctor because they didn't want to like discover something they were focused on competing do you think that's true were you all, were you all the same way like you, you kind of avoided going to the doctor no I think it's true but I, I was not the guy <laughs> oh, you no no uh, go. Uh, oh yeah of course I uh, I check my blood uh, twice a year always before my prep and after the prep so and each time, I mean, if I did two seasons, I did this, this the same way, you know, before and after. But yes, I uh, I understand and I heard a lot of the same stories that most of them don't go because they think if they figure something out, you know, something wrong is going on, they, yeah, that's end of the world for them. But I think if you figure out it early enough, you can, you know, work on it and, and uh, you know, get, get old medicine or whatever. I mean, 
And also, it's not just oh to figure out oh what's wrong with me, but yeah, yeah, like keeping it under control. I think is most important. If you just stay like uh, going to the doctor like every three months, I mean, there's no chance that something um, it's it's unseen or whatever. So they always gonna see something uh, is going on or not. So I think it's more important to prevent all this stuff, not just oh doing like ten years something bad or thinking doing something bad and then you know uh, uh, trying you know not to go to the doctor in case they, you see something you know so it's it's weird it's it's you know bodybuilders are weird people anyways because you know we we, we like to suffer in all the stuff you know but this is already a little bit uh weird i would say it's, it ends wrong you you gotta you gotta be aware of what's going on in your body and uh what's what's okay and what's not yeah